High water and winds are putting a beating on lakeshore break walls, leaving lakefront homes vulnerable to damage. Companies are also working around the clock building seawalls to try to protect these homes. Brian Wilk now in the studio with the latest. Brian. Jill, I talked with the owner of one of those companies as well as a homeowner who lives right on the water and does not want to lose her home. It has stood at the water's edge for nearly a century. Eric Guerin with Lakeshore Towing says storms are typical, but the high water and a lack of ice cover has caused extensive lakeshore damage. Waves are hitting higher on the shoreline. His business is very busy. We've been busy uh, Re repairing or replacing break walls that have failed, uh, building seawalls where uh, they didn't have seawalls in the past. So it's, it's been both. Another construction company was in Harbor Creek building a seawall Friday. One homeowner is done extensive renovations and construction to save her property from Mother Nature. When you grow up on Lake Erie, the first thing you learn is to respect the water. Christine lives right on the lake in Harbor Creek. Her grandmother built the house 98 years ago. It has seen its fair share of damage over the years. Her neighbors have tried to create erosion walls. Last year, they put in French drains. There used to be a whole row of trees right where we're standing now. And little by little, the lake took it. As the level rose and the storms got more aggressive, we lost a lot, as did everybody else. Eric Guerin says so far this year they've completed 12 seawall projects and three more are in progress and several more are in the works before the end of the year. Jill?